In this program, we're going to learn about craters. What is a crater? A crater is a round, bowl-shaped depression surrounded by a ring. Craters are formed in many different ways throughout our solar system. Impact craters are formed when a meteorite collides with a planet or moon. A meteorite is a rock-like object from space that hits the surface of a planet or moon. When the meteorite hits the surface, it explodes upon impact and leaves a scar in the form of a crater on the surface. Impact craters are found throughout the solar system, including the surface of Earth and our moon. Impact craters come in different shapes and sizes based on the size, material, and speed of the meteorite when it hits the surface. The craters on the moon are very prominent because the moon has no weather to erode or gradually wear them away over time. The craters remain unchanged for millennia. In contrast, impact craters on Earth are less visible. There are only about 150 impact craters on Earth. Not all of them are obvious, like the moon, because most have been eroded by Earth's weather, covered by dirt, or are actually underwater. Meteor Crater in the Arizona desert is a famous impact crater created roughly 50,000 years ago by a meteorite almost 160 feet across. At its widest, Meteor Crater is almost a mile wide. Another type of crater found on Earth is a volcanic crater. Volcanic craters are circular depressions with a vent where magma, or molten rock, erupts from the Earth. Some volcanic craters that are no longer active fill with rain or melted snow, forming crater lakes. Crater Lake in Oregon is a great example. It is one of the deepest lakes in the world. Finally, some craters on Earth are caused by explosions due to hydrothermal activity. Hydrothermal activity, while it may sound complicated, is the movement of heated water beneath the surface of the Earth. Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park in Montana is a great example of hydrothermal activity. The pressure created under the surface of the Earth by the hot water is released to form a geyser of water. If the pressure is not released, an explosion can occur. The largest hydrothermal explosion ever documented occurred on the northern edge of Yellowstone Lake creating a 1.5-mile crater. Now that you better understand the different kinds of craters and how they are created, think about this. Which type of crater on Earth would you have to study in order to find out the most about outer space? <laughs>